up guys and today we finally got the NFL Drafts Christian McCaffrey Energizer and Route Runner Chemistry 97 overall 6 foot tall, 94 speed, 97 agility, 91 ball carry, 93 juke, 68 truck, 94 carry, 97 acceleration and 94 elusiveness now you would think that he would be like a very very elusive back but he only has an 82 spin, 68 truck 75 stiff arm the juke is really the only thing that really stands out besides of course his speed and everything and also his a um, 84 catch which I'll talk more about later now like I said he does have a very high agility rating and elusive rating but the spin uh, spin rating is so low it doesn't even matter so I struggled like hell to get these spin moves man I tried like maybe 20 attempts and only got two uh, successful spins so guys do not try to spin with Christian McCaffrey man and juking was actually pretty decent you know I had some nice animations here and there but even still to, you know to my surprise the juke really wasn't that great either it was okay but it wasn't really you know spectacular and yes do not try to truck with him this right here was the only uh, stiff arm that I got which was a uh, drag now he does have a very high agility rating so he can definitely zigzag his way through which is why he's very good at running between the tackles like this and of course you know these big gaps here <laughs> make it that much easier but regardless like I said you can definitely zigzag your way through with uh, McCaffrey and his speed and the acceleration man a very good combination no doubt. Now a lot of my touchdowns from McCaffrey came from passing the ball man these little routes right here very very good catcher zero dropped passes so very reliable in the passing game and there are so many schemes out there that I face where the running back is a target in the passing game so if that's your scheme believe me McCaffrey will fit it perfectly as far as breaking tackles not something that he did very often just these two plays were the only broken tackle a uh, broken tackles that he ever got for me now this right here was impressive he took some licks man I mean he, he was getting smacked around left and right by the big time guys and zero fumbles that's something that I'm very uh, glad to see not saying that he'll never ever fumble but it's not something that you should really worry about too often as far as the bad plays and the struggle points the uh, struggle points like I said don't try to truck stiff arm and definitely do not try to spin with McCaffrey but the way that I ran with him to get the most out of him was just use him as a speed back I mean of course that's not you know I really had high hopes that he was gonna be some crazy elusive you know LaShawn McCoy type that was just not the case but you cannot deny that speed and it's really I think because of the acceleration 97 acceleration 94 speed of course is good but I'm just saying that acceleration you really feel it man they can just take off and be gone a lot of other running backs would have got caught like right there a lot of them would have got caught but McCaffrey's one of the, the very few that can just pull away at the very last second here's another example most running backs would have got caught by that uh, safety or corner or whoever that was but not McCaffrey man so you can throw the ball to him you can kind of juke with them but if I had to pick one thing to lean on the most I would say just lean on that speed and if you want to hurdle people by all means hurdle people man it's really up to you but I would say just uh, lean on the speed so that's gonna wrap this up guys and right now he goes for about between 250 and 300,000 and for me honestly that's just way too much way way too much considering what he can and can't do I mean he's fast and everything but you know someone like Derek McFadden you see right here on my uh, second string I mean he's just not just as fast but there's nothing that a McCaffrey can do that him or even Tevin Coleman and a few other running backs can't do as far as just speed so it's really up to you man if, if you're a big McCaffrey fan or if you just want if you just want his car by all means go for it and as far as Fournette right here I'm gonna try and pick him up as soon as possible and see what he can do I have higher hopes for, for <laughs> Fournette than I do for McCaffrey but um anyways guys like I said, I'll see you boys for the next review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you boys for the next review. Peace.